Time for a new haul. Awesome. So it's the usual contact lens cases. They've packed this up a bit differently. Um, I've never had it sent to me in bubble wrapped before. But um, maybe that's because I normally order, you know, pearl and things. So I am going to be really excited to try these out. Okay, so these are the colors that we've got this time. This is the new line that's come out, the Siesta. So this is Siesta Sahara Snow. Sorry, the new line is the Siesta Sahara. So that's the Snow, Sage, Sky, Olive, Palm. And then I've got um, Crystal Halo Green, Day, and Sky. I'm very, very eager to try these out. Hi, everyone. I have some more contact lenses to try out. I thought that I only had one more round, but it turns out I'm going to have at least two. This one and another one because my order was, or my my choices were so big that it's actually going to fall into two categories. One, there's a new line that has just come out that is called the um, Sahara. This is what they look like, and this is the pair that I'm wearing right now. This is the Sahara, Siesta Sahara. And I've got quite a few contacts from that line. I don't think I have every single one, but I have the ones that I was the most interested in to start with. The next round is going to be more costume contact lenses, like the Halloween lenses. Um, I'm, I was really, really excited to try these because I, I saw from the pictures and the reviews that were already listed that these have got some really, really good coverage. Um, the design on them is made up, so I've got some right here. They're just made up of a bunch of tiny little dots and it has extreme coverage. It's like these lenses just get better and better with each new um, line that they put out. So I am really, really impressed with these. These are like circle lenses, as you might notice, they make your your iris look a lot bigger. So this is my natural color and see the difference between the two. This is a lot bigger. Um, so they do give your eyes your, you know, that doll like look. Um, so when I do an up close version of the lighter ones, you will see where my real eye color ends and the contacts begin just because these are so much bigger than your natural eye color. Um, and if you've got dark eyes like I do, then you're going to see that a little bit, but that's only noticeable really if you're looking for it. If you're, you know, in person and in a distance, at a distance, you're not going to really see that. So to start with, um, these are the Sage and these are a beautiful, beautiful purple color. They're, um, they're like a deep purple. Um, I did what I did last time and I videoed each lens in the case so that you can see what it looks like naturally off the eye. This is what it looks like on the eye. As you can see. These are really, really comfortable. I love the way they look. They are noticeably purple, but they're not a weird cartoon purple in my opinion they're just a really really beautiful color um, these are Josh's favorites as well um, I asked him which ones he liked the most and he actually really likes these and um, I've got then I've got five pairs from this line total so I've got two different kinds of green and then I've got like a light blue and I've got um, a gray color so I'm gonna try them on individually but then Miles gonna pop one and one on at the end of this round so that you can see the difference between the two shades of green and the the blue which is very similar to the gray so you can kind of see what they look like side by side i decided to wear these because these, these are the odd ones out i don't have another version of a purple to show you siesta sahara sage All right, this is the Sahara Sky. So I I was originally very excited about these. I think I have one of them inside out to be honest. I'm so bad at this. I take them out and then I flip them around. Um, they they get flipped around when I try them on and then I can't tell which side is, is which, even though I should know by now. This one's not really feeling too great. So I'm thinking this one is inside out. It's not sitting right on my eye. Yep. See, it starts to flip over as soon as I 
I take it out, which means I had it on inside out like a doofus. So let me put it back on right. But you can see how extreme the coverage is between the two. Um, but anyway, I was really excited about these because they have um, like a brown ring around the middle. Um, and anytime that you have like a brown ring around the center, it just adds to the realism, I guess, because it helps it blend into darker eyes um, instead of just a stark round eye hole. I really hate those and I really, really don't like contacts that don't fade away in the middle. These are really, really pretty. You see here, you can see where, you know, my eye is there and then where the lens overlaps just because the lens is quite big. These are really, really pretty contacts as well. They've got great coverage. The Esther Sahara Sky. This is the Sahara Snow. So when I first saw these in the package, I thought that they were the exact same color until I tried them on side by side. The snow is very gray, just a granite kind of gray color, steel gray. And the sky is an icy, icy blue color. I'm not sure which one I like better. I think these ones look slightly more natural, but I kind of like them both. Siesta Sahara Snow. This is the sky. And this is the, oh no, wait. This is the snow and this is the sky. I just took this one off and I already forgot. So you can see the difference. The sky is obviously blue and the snow is obviously gray. Um, in the package, they look very similar but when you put them on, you can clearly see that they are not. So if you like a, a more icy blue eye, then obviously the sky is for you. And if you like a more steel gray color, then the snow is for you. Or hey, at this price, you can actually get them both. These are the Sahara Palm. And when I ordered these, I thought that I would like these the best out of the two greens, but I'm not sure because um, I kind of like the olive. The olive is basically the purple, but green, it's made exactly the way the purple does. Amara, what you doing? Hey. What you doing? I know I'm not sitting on the bed right now. I'm sorry. Mommy's making a video. You going to come say hi? You're just going to walk over there and cry. I'm just going to rub up on my stuff, okay? Um, anyway, sorry about that. Um, I really like this color. I do. I, I'm Ever since I started experimenting with greens, I, I just fell in love with pretty much every green contact there is out there. Um, um, yeah, ever since I started experimenting with greens, I, I re-found my love for greens and the way that they look very, very natural. Um, but... Uh, the other green doesn't look natural at all, but it is really pretty. Um, I'm just not sure what I like better. But these are an absolutely beautiful, beautiful shade of green. And they go into like a, a brown in the center, which of course I really like because that makes them look even more natural. Siesta Sahara Palm. All right, so these are the Sahara, these are the last ones. These are Sahara, Sahara Olive. So like I was just saying, um, these are a completely different kind of green. These are 
put together i mean they're they're solid exactly like the purple are but they are really pretty um they're dark and understated um obviously unnatural because you know these are a really unnatural shade of green but they're still really pretty and um i i don't know which ones i like better these ones or the other ones i think these are very striking and pretty in their own way i really like the solidness of the green i love the coverage that this series has this line and it makes me really want to try some of the other ones i tried to get some contacts that there weren't very many reviews on just so i could take pictures and review them and try them out but i'm very happy with the selection that i've chosen so far and i think that these are absolutely gorgeous siesta sahara olive All right, so this, this is the, ouch, the Sahara Olive. So as you can see, it's a very unrealistic bright green. I don't know why I'm suddenly glowing so much. And this is the Palm. So this is the difference between the two when you see them. So again, I'm not really sure which one I like better. Because on the one hand, I like this. But then on the one hand, I like this. So I really don't know they're both very beautiful in their own ways and they have two completely different different looks hey mommy's got two different eye colors just like you look at the camera there you go oh you're so pretty right this is the um crystal edition siesta hollow green and i think these lenses the design on the lenses is supposed to mimic like a, a gem or a crystal that's the way it looks when it's not in your eye um, these are understated. I do like them. I just don't like them as much as the, um, Sahara because obviously the coverage is not the same. These are more your normal subtle contacts. You can see the color with these, just not a whole lot. Mm, these ones are supposed to be, it says green, but they, they're kind of like, I don't know, a grayish color. And the way that they are designed, they work really well with brown eyes. And they give your eyes a little bit of a pop, but not a whole huge amount. Nothing like, whoa, her eyes are beautiful. It's just kind of like, meh, all right. You know, that's a person kind of thing. Um, which is good if you like the whole understated look. These are really comfortable and these are really pretty. They're just really nothing, you know. Just a crystal hollow green. All right, these are the Siesta Crystal Hollow Sky, and these are obviously a uh, blue color. These probably show up the best out of all of the three that I got. I'm not sure how many there are in the series, maybe four, three or four, but um, these show up the most. Um, I didn't think the blues would be the most realistic, but I kind of think they are. They definitely show up better than any of the other ones, but at the same time, again, very, very subtle. Um, this is what they look like up close. They are really pretty. Um, I do like these. Once upon a time, I would have I would have killed for these, so I am very happy with these. They're just not again like popping the next pair i have oh these are so pretty they don't show up on your eye very well and i do have a video of them in the case or in the package but to see them here if you can see that look at the way that looks how could you not get excited for that i saw these online and i was like i have got to try these these are a mix of like it's kind of like an, an orangey reddy brownie color mixed with blue and I thought these are going to be absolutely beautiful. Siesta Crystal Hollow Sky. All right. Lastly, look, I still have all of my makeup on. Holy crap. Anyway, <laughs> and I gurgled. Um, these are the... Crystal Edition Siesta Hollow Sky. Sorry, Day. I just did Sky. These are Day. 
and um, as pretty as they are in the package they really don't show up on your eye I mean they give you an, an enlarging doll like effect but they really don't show up for reference this is my natural eye color and size so they do add a bit of oomph to your eye but not a ginormous amount the ones that show up the most are the skies the blues but these I mean these are gorgeous sorry so I had to get these I had to try these um, they kind of make your eyes look maybe a little purpley so I'm gonna make up this uh, um, but yeah they make they make your eyes look a little purpley a little shiny glossy and larger than normal um, they are gorgeous and I can imagine if you had green eyes or gray eyes or colored eyes this would just really make your eyes pop even with brown eyes they make your eyes pop and they still are very very beautiful they just don't have a whole lot of color I can imagine the daylight those those would probably be really really amazing but in saying that these also look the most natural because of the fact that they don't really show up very well so if you want something that makes your eyes look absolutely beautiful but still natural Siesta Crystal Hollow Day All right, so oops, I'm sorry. Um, that is all for the contacts. I ended up with all of my makeup intact. I did not have to touch it up, which is great. It's a little bit fudgy because I'm at the end of my work day. I just got off work. I worked all day today and I am tired. Uh, the next video might be my last contact video for a while unless I come out with another line because I've added pretty much everything I could think of that I've been after to this one last long list. It was cut in half, the first half of it being the actual contacts, the second half being the more costumey contacts, so that's what I'm going to try next. Um, if or when they come out with another line, which I'm sure they will because they're always coming out with things, I will do my best to get my hands on them so that I can review them because like this line here, not this one, but the first one I showed, um, they just, I mean, they're beautiful. Like the coverage... Um, it's just absolutely fantastic like if you could see how good these contact lenses actually look I mean they're they're amazing and they're so comfortable and speaking of um, the winners of my contest the lenses have already been shipped out to you guys so I would be really excited to know if you've received them and maybe some pictures of what they look like on you and um, you know if you like them what you think um, and yeah, just let me know like how that goes and what your thoughts are because I'm very, very curious to see what everybody thinks. And I will see you guys in another video. Um, maybe contact related, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. But I will see you guys soon. Take care.